Hello, this is Jackson. Welcome to the Quantum Video Blog. This time we're going to use a Super Staker status tool. This will use Quantum.info API calls to retrieve data about the Super Staker and all its delegated addresses and then evaluate the UTXOs to give us some information about how that Super Staker is doing. These are the main steps that we'll use. We're going to install Python run the Python script against a super staker address and look at the results. Let's get started. The first step will be to install Python. Python is an interpreted language. It's good for uh, rapid development for backend programming and uh, it's fairly easy to use, especially if somebody else writes the script for you. So here we're going to download Python for Windows. It's available for other platforms as well. Just double click on the installer program. We will set that we want to uh, add Python to our path. That will make it a little easier to use. And then we'll go ahead and do the installation, which goes through fairly quickly. And we'll come back to Python in a little bit to uh, run our program. So here we can see setup was successful. So we can close this window and go on to the next step, which is to download the Python script. This will be the Python program. And uh, we're just going to park it in a folder on desktop called Python source for Python source code. Now we can go to GitHub to a repository which has the Python script program. GitHub is a cloud storage platform for software development and you can use it with Git for version control. GitHub is used widely for open source software projects. So here we're going to select the um, code button and then download the zip file. This will grab all the files for us. There's two that we're interested in. Let me show you that. We're, we're going to just uh, drag this zip file into the folder that we just made. Then we can go in there We're going to right click and select extract all. And we just take the defaults here. So there's the files that we downloaded. There's a configuration file and the Python script itself. Next, we're going to select a super staker to check and we can go to the uh, Stakeathon pages and pick one off the list there. We will go to the list, all super stakers, and just pick the first one here. We'll copy the address which is what we need. Now the way this Python program works, it reads a configuration file when it starts up, which is just a text file. You can edit that configuration file so you don't have to make any changes to the program, which is kind of messy. Here, this configuration file, I had already had it set to this particular super staker, but I'm going to paste it in again just to show you how that works. We'll paste it in there and we see that the fee was set correctly. Otherwise, we could update the fee there as well. We'll just save the file and close it. That was fairly easy. Now we're ready to run the Python program and see what this super staker is up to. 
So we'll go back to our Python script file called SuperStaker Checkup here. We're going to right click on that and say Edit with Idle. That's the Python Integrated Development Environment Idle. And it shows our Python program there. The green color means it's a comment. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see some of the actual Python code here. What this program does is, as I mentioned before, it uses the quantum.info API, which is a, uh, a web call, to retrieve the information first for the super staker and then for all the delegates. And then it adds up the UTXOs for each address as to whether they're mature for used in staking or whether they're immature, which means they're not staking yet, or if they're too small, which means um, for a delegate they'll they'll never be staked. And it issues some various uh, comments or warnings about some of the addresses. The super staker has maybe 35 delegates. So we can go back and look and see. Up at the top here it shows results for the super staker itself. This one has quite a few UTXOs. A fairly hefty balance. And it's staking probably a thousand. That would be, you know, some stakes that it's got committed. About 3.6% of its weight is committed to stakes. That's pretty good. Here's some problems with some delegates, though. Like this one has a fee of 10, which is too high. Uh, here's another one, though. Uh, this one has smaller UTXOs that sum up to 127. These should be split or recombined to give another stakeable. UTXO for this delegate. So if the delegate runs this tool, they can see that uh, they need to clean that up. Here's one assignment with a fee that's too low, so that won't be staked. And overall, we have um, this overall weight for all the delegates of the super staker. So uh, that's the tool, and it looks pretty good. And here's some references. You can uh, look up the, the text blog with the URL given here. If you want to download Python, this is the URL. And the GitHub repository is listed there. These are also listed in the description below along with the step-by-step -step, um, mouse clicks if you want to do that. So thanks for watching the blog, and I'll see you next time.